Now I'm going to show you guys a cool way to use the parallax scrolling in Muse, Adobe Muse that is, Adobe Muse CC specifically, the latest version, to create an animated sort of welcome splash screen for your website or someone else's website if you're doing this for someone else. Hopefully you're going to charge them some bucks. I think they'll pay it because this is a pretty sweet little trick. So. What we're looking at here, I've got this welcome link, and when you click on this welcome link, this is an experience flies in from all sides, and uh, the word welcome just kind of flies away. Uh, what really happened, if I close this, you guys can see, what really happened is I had welcome written kind of high up on a long web page that I'm zoomed out of right now, and then scrolled down lower where it says this is an experience and then I use the parallax scrolling to have the individual text boxes come in uh, from different directions so let me zoom in a little bit here this is an experience needs to be below halfway on this page which is long enough to fill the height of my browser twice so I want to make sure that when I'm up here I can't see the words that are below and then when I'm down here I can't see the words that are above so I can't really give you numbers because my resolution's kind of turned down right now for this tutorial, and your resolution at home, your screen might be different, it might be different heights, and you may be designing this for a laptop or a desktop or everything. So you gotta do a little bit of math to kind of figure out where the height needs to be for each of these zones, so to speak, on this web page. But I've got the word welcome written in a text box, and I've got this is an and experience all in four separate text boxes. So what I want to do now is select the first text box. I'm going to go to effects here and I'm going to turn on scroll motion. And when I turn on scroll motion, I get to decide what direction this goes. I get to decide whether or not this changes. And what's important here is that I want all the words to stop. I don't want them to fly in and then fly by one another. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this motion before key to be the movement and then this motion after key is going to be the moment at which it freezes and we need to make sure that the key position here is the same for every text box so that they all freeze at the same time in the same place uh, not really in the same place but in the place that I see them in in the design view that's what this key position decides so I've got it set at 615 that number is not the number again your resolution is going to be different this number is not going to match but I've got it spaced enough so that this is going to sit not at the very top of the browser this line represents the distance that this box will be from the top of the browser when it freezes in position so I left a little bit of room so it's not the very top uh, it's kind of more in the middle uh, but it's not totally in the middle I mean you can play with this number reserve battery power here we go again why does this keep happening to me all right so I'm gonna have this scroll zero in the upward position because I want it to fly in straight from the side so I'm gonna have it scroll in at a speed of three from the side so it's gonna scroll in quickly from the side and then the motion after key needs to be zero zero because I want it to freeze so now that I've got that one set to fly in from the side I'm gonna click on is I'm gonna go to effects turn on the scroll motion key position also has to be 615 all of these lower objects here these four text boxes have to be set at the same thing and again it won't be 615 for you but it just has to match on all four of them now this one I'm gonna have fly down at a speed of two and I'm gonna have it fly right at a speed of one so it's gonna be going diagonally mostly downward because the speed is higher for the downward position and then zero zero to lock it in place when it reaches the key position Let's go to and, let's go to effects, turn on the scroll motion. Again, the key position is the same, but this one's going to fly in from the left. It's going to fly in to the right at a speed of two, and it's not going to be coming up from the bottom or down from the top. It's just going to come straight in from the side and then lock into place. Zero, zero means it's going to lock into place. And then experience the fourth text box. I'm going to turn on scroll motion. Also, it the same key position and this one is going to not fly up or down it's gonna fly in from the side but this time I've got it going the opposite direction so it's gonna come in from the right and go in the leftward direction at a speed of three so it's gonna be coming in at the same speed as the word this but it's gonna be coming in from the opposite side 
and it's going to lock into position. We've got 0, 0 after it reaches that key position. So now with what we've got, if we scroll up and down in our preview, I'm going to go Shift-Command-E to preview in the browser. If I scroll down, here we go. It flies on in. Looking good. It's looking real good. But I don't want to have to scroll up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an anchor, which is going to be a point that I can scroll to. And I'm going to create that anchor and call it stop here. So that way it stops scrolling there. And I'm going to put that at or below the position of my key. So I can put it up a little bit higher. But remember, these are going to freeze in place. So even if it scrolls too far, they're going to be frozen in the same spot. Uh, they're going to be frozen uh, in that gap from the top of the browser that I established when I set my key position. So let's see what this looks like if I now hyperlink the welcome text box to that anchor. Let's see, where is that anchor? It is the stop here anchor. So now I'm going to do shift command E again to go back to my browser. I'm going to click on welcome. And there we go. It scrolls right on in. Pretty nice. It's not going super smooth. My computer is starting to choke. I think I've asked too much of it today. But it's a pretty beautiful and simple way to fly in text for a splash. It could be your logo. It could even be parts of your logo that fly together and form your logo when they freeze in their key position. So play with this. Experiment with it and link me in the comments. Show me, uh, show me what you got. Show me what you've done. I would love to see. So stay tuned. I've got more of these coming at you soon. And subscribe if you want to see them.